A 19th century discovery helped solve the mystery of the missing Malaysian Airlines flight. British firm in Marsat used an ancient wave phenomenon to analyse the seven pings picked up after the flight disappeared off radar screens. Christopher McLaughlin is senior vice president. We have used the difference in speed at which the signal has come from the aircraft to the fixed point, the satellite in space. It's called Doppler effect. And if you can imagine a train whistle getting louder as it comes towards you and getting more faint as it goes away from you, we're looking at those signals and deciding where the, the aircraft was on a particular route and a path. In Marsat's findings led the Malaysian authorities to conclude the Boeing 777 had crashed in the southern Indian Ocean, thousands of miles off course. We cannot tell you to the last degree where that plane is. We can tell you um, the likely area to search and certainly it would appear that that search is now concluding in that area. But because there was no GPS data, because it wasn't mandated, and no other data coming off the plane, we can only provide you the direction of channel, el uh, travel, eliminate the uh, northern route, and say it's going to be in this box. The incident is likely to spur a review of aviation rules. In Marsat says it should have happened years ago. It is extraordinary that in this day and age, commercial jets do not have a requirement on them to automatically and independently report their speed and position. It can be done for less than a dollar per hour. Uh, existing systems that we have are fitted on 10,000 aircraft, another 5,000 of our more advanced aircraft. It could be done uh, in the matter of just the time to mandate. Search teams are still trying to find wreckage from the plane. In Marsat may have solved one mystery, but there are plenty of other unanswered questions.